guys, Kelsey Bree here and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to become a morning person and how to wake up naturally instead of having to wake up to an annoying alarm clock. Also, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I post college, lifestyle, fashion, or dance videos. So if that is something that you are interested in, then be sure to subscribe and let's get right into the video. So tip number one is to go to bed early. I know that sounds real lame. Like y'all want to be up like past midnight on Instagram, talking to your friends, FaceTiming. And trust me, sis, I am all about that. But here I am sitting on my bed planning for this YouTube video. That's what I'm doing. But then I decide I have to go to bed. And that's the whole point of this video is to show you guys how to become a morning person. And going to bed early has some benefits such as a healthy lifestyle and you actually worry less. Good morning and rise and shine, Kelsey. Get up now, Lila. Let's get up. Yes, this is how I wake up. I always be rubbing my eyes and all. So yeah, I know it's kind of gross. I shouldn't be doing it, but it is what it is. I just wanted to show you guys what time I had got up back. So I'm telling you, if you follow all of these six steps or tips that I have for you, you will also get up at this time. Second tip for y'all is to drink your water. So I know that sounds even lamer than the first one, but water actually helps to boost your energy. Um, it also helps dis um, deliver nutrients to your cells, organs, and your muscles. Water detoxifies your body and also it hydrates the body, meaning the skin and the hair. So if you have some dry skin, dry hair, and you don't even be doing much, then sis, you better drink some water. And then lastly, water helps improve your sleep. So if you're having sleeping problems at night, then drink some glass of water or something. Moving on to tip number three, it is to create a schedule. And I actually like to call it effective scheduling just because the whole point of a schedule is to be effective and active with it. So I do it to... um have a good work-life balance between my youtube and obviously my personal life and other things that i gotta go and do such as school and whatever but yeah but when you do it make sure you give yourself enough time to complete your tasks because sometimes y'all we be giving ourselves only 30 minutes or 15 minutes to do something but in reality we need the whole hour and a half let's be honest my fourth tip to my viewers who are still watching shout out to y'all because y'all are some real ones but fourth tip is get up and move. So basically like exercising and stretching because those two things scientifically proven, it's a fact, no print. It's, it actually improves your sleep and mood. We all knew that. But the benefits of working out in the morning though, the morning when that sun is coming up is healthier food choices, increased alertness, more energy overall, better focus, better mood, and of course that good old weight loss. Personally, I do not like to work out in the morning. I like to stretch and do yoga because I do not like getting hot, jumping up and down, and my heart beating out of my chest. First thing in the morning, I like to be in that calm, relaxed state. So my fifth tip for you guys is turn off your alarm clocks, but don't actually do that. I know y'all in school, so y'all better get up, but your alarm clock actually doesn't do you any good besides force you to wake up, as we all know, but it creates unhealthy sleep habits. Um, I'm reading my notes. Hold on. When an alarm forces you to wake up before your body is ready, you feel groggy as you may have interrupted a deep stage of sleep. Since school, yeah, you heard me when I said about school. So turn off your alarm clocks, but keep them on. I absolutely love this one. So if you stuck to the very end to this one, then you really are a real one. So I'm going to need for you to actually do this one. And it's called Lead in the Light. So it doesn't matter if your light is natural or artificial. Light is just good for you because it just tells your brain and your body, like, let's get up. Your day has begun. Like, it's time to get up. But be do something that actually makes it enjoyable. Like, I love to go outside. That's what I've been doing recently. I'm being honest, like I'm not those YouTubers that says, oh, I'm doing this. But in reality, they ain't doing it. But I actually walk outside. I stare at the sky for a long time. So this is the outfit of the day that I had wore. And if you stuck to the very end, I greatly appreciate it. All of my recent uploads and social media links will be down in the description box. I post on Wednesdays and Sundays, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>